what would sir like? Have a well stacked day. Hello viewers, Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, starting out with a little bit of a gag entry and wanting to see if you would stick around. And I'm sure you have because many of you seem to be enjoying my videos, which is good and I appreciate that. I thank you for watching and I thank you for subscribing. Now. In A Home in the Hills, near the end, I promised that I would give you a tour of Mad Dog's crib. And that's exactly what I'm doing. But hey, we're going to recreate A Home in the Hills, and CJ's going to parachute onto the helipad, and then he's going to enter the house, and I'm going to give you a nice tour. So, let's get this tour of Mad Dog's crib going, and CJ is out of the airplane, I don't care where it crashes, and he's going to come, and he's going to float over beautiful Los Santos, and you can actually see the ring, uh, if I were to parachute CJ onto that red ring there, it would activate the mission, but I'm not going to do that. You see, this is going to be CJ's base of operations, and there's going to be several more missions coming forward that will be important for CJ and everyone else involved. He landed poorly, but now I'm going to give you a tour of Mad Dog's Mansion. I'm just going to jump over the edge here, not enter the red ring, and enter the mansion. So let's get on with this tour of Mad Dog's crib. Over here to the left of the entry is a save icon. And this can be important because if you're operating out of the mansion, uh, you need to save. There's the main entry, there's the entry where the guy got shot, and then over here is the Hall of Rooms. There's this room with a stereo, there's this other bedroom, sort of reading room, listening room. Yeah, and then there's the two beds. Really don't like the layout of this stuff, but hey, then we have the other bedroom with the body armor, which again is important because if she, CJ is all shot up, he can use that body armor. And then there is the final room here with a bed and a fireplace. Then you come over here to this area and this open area, which again, I really don't like the layout, but then you've got the Kitchen area, you got the night vision goggles there for some reason. And then you got the kitchen area. There is no more health icon in there, which sucks. But you can eat. Then there's this, like, media library sitting room. And then video games. Woohoo! Gone. Something gone. Let's get ready to bumble. High score. Level one. You fly this bumblebee around and... Hopefully you don't get those spikes there. But this is kind of just a basic, oh, you bump into spikes, you get hurt, you lose life, you get the flowers, you get up, I think you got to get nine flowers and avoid getting spiked. Yeah, kind of a basic game. I don't know what this one is like, but... Let's just play around with it a little bit here, and I'm going to move on to the next 
video game, I believe, once I'm done with this. Bear with me. I didn't think that I was going to play this long. I thought it was just going to end up dead. And then you got to keep maneuvering and dropping down and getting the flowers. And let's see, the flower count goes down, the honey goes up, and it's timed, and this is getting boring. So let's see if I can navigate this tricky area. Oop, game over. So let's get on with the next video game, and that is this one. It's kind of like duality. It's kind of like asteroids in a way, but you shoot balls and white balls and you wind up, you fuel yourself with these things. And the, I think the white balls are ammo and the black balls are fuel. Let's see if I bump into these things and see what happens. Uh, yeah, I'm getting, oh, there. see, it's kind of hard to control, and I shot that one, and again, I believe the white balls are fuel, no, the black ones give you ammo, and you get the little ones, and they fuel you up, and if you bump into the big ones, you take damage, that's a little confusing, but I got a score of 25, and I got a lot of ammo to shoot. Oh, little ones don't do anything. I think if you're down on something and you hit the white balls, it fuels you up or supports you, and the black balls do damage, I think. Not quite understanding this game. Yeah, hit the... I got a score 45, 35. What the hell is going on here? Hmm. Yeah. It's kind of like a weird asteroids. And the odd part is you're not dying. This is kind of getting boring. Let's run into this. Ah, there we go. I keep getting, yep, game over. Yep, black does damage. Now let's move on. Over here we have the dining room. Look at that. Service for a dozen people or more. Yep. Then we have this looks like movie room with a really small TV. And you come down the hall here and there's this area and then there is the kind of office area with a safe, and the safe you can't interact with. And then you come out of the office, and you come down here, and this is the media room with uh, body armor, if you need body armor. I think all of his demo tapes are stored in there. And this is the recording studio, where in a mission you stole the Mad Dog's Rhyme book for OG Loke, who's kind of a jerk. And then we have the party area with the TV. What's over here? Oh, there's just the corners where you get the weird breathing sound here. Yeah, I've been down this hall. Yeah, it's there. And then you got the party room with a video game console you could actually play. And you've got some night vision glasses again. For some freaking reason. And then I'm going to flip through. And you've got the bar here with very little liquor. And then you got the vacant room here. And you got the gym. And the gym got weight sets and bicycles. And hey, basketball. Let's see how good I am at this. And you hold. Press and hold A to shoot the ball, release at the peak, and I missed. And I can exit if I press Y. And I can press Y again to try and pick up the basketball and play again. Move CJ around here, and ooh, missed the shot. 
Let's see. Go boxing. Uh, running these things. Uh, won't let me quit out of the, uh, there. I quit out of the basketball court. But you got this gym. And then you come out of here and up oh, back in the party room. Went the wrong direction here. You come down here and there is this area. Yeah. The weird creepy breathy sound if you walk into them. And then you got the changing rooms with the weird darkness and the pool. You got a pool. You can swim in the pool. And it's not a shallow pool, but I'm not going to go swimming. You come out here and here's the basement exit. And out of the back and where CJ is now standing and you can run down this area and drive down to Los Santos instead of driving through the hills and right by the Vinewood sign. Hey, this is a sweet crib with a bad layout, but hey, you know, there's something for everyone. And you ever remember that movie or that show Cribs on MTV? It was kind of fun, kind of like old soul lifestyles of the rich and famous. Well, I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. I think I've talked long enough. As always, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and be a viewer. Thanks again.